everyone. Today we will have a new lesson about the online systems, functions, and platforms. In general, when a machine is online, it is turned on and connected to other devices. The term online usually means being connected to the internet. The connection can be through a phone line using a dial-up or DSL modem, a cable line via cable modem, or through a wireless connection. A computer can also be online via a connection to a computer network. Function of online system Online systems are online versions of information systems which is the process of and tools for storing, managing, using, and gathering of data and communications in an organization. An example of information systems are tools for sending out communications and storing files in a business. Computer are device connected to a network such as internet and ready to use or be used by other computers or devices. Database, file, or web page available for downloading or reading. Services such as ticket reservation systems or capabilities such as online help available directly through a computer system or under its direct control. What is web page? A web page or web page is a document commonly written in hypertext markup language or HTML that is accessible through the internet or other network using an internet browser. A web page is accessed by entering a URL address and may contain text, graphics, and hyperlinks to other web pages and files. What is Web 1.0 and Web 2.0? An old internet that allows or only allows people to read from the internet. Web 1.0 is the first stage worldwide linking web pages and hyperlink. Web is used as information portal. It uses table to positions and align elements on page. While Web 2.0, it is a platform that gives users the possibility to control their data. This is about user-generated content and the read-write web. And also, everyone can be content producer. Example of Web 1.0 and Web 2.0 For the Web 1.0 shopping carts are mpg.com For the Web 2.0 is blog or wikis, social network, yahoo or youtube Let's talk about the features of Web 2.0 First, Foxonomy allows users to categorize and classify or arrange information using freely chosen keywords such as tagging, popular networking sites such as Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and so on, use tags that start with a pound sign. This is also referred to as hashtag. Another feature is rich user experience, wherein Content is dynamic and is responsive to users' input. An example would be a website that shows a local content. In the case of social networking sites, when logged on, your account is used to modify what you see in their website. User participation. The owner of the website is not the only one who is able to put content. Others are able to place a content of their own by means of comments, 
reviews and evaluation. Some websites allow readers to comment on an article, participate in a poll, or review a specific product like Amazon.com online stores. Another feature is long tail. Services that are offered on demand rather than a one-time purchase. In certain cases, time-based pricing is better than file-size pricing or vice versa. This is synonymous to subscribing to a data plan that charges you for the amount of time you spend in the internet or a data plan that charges you for the amount of bandwidth you use. Next is software as a service. Users will subscribe to a software only when needed rather than purchasing them. This is a cheaper option if you do not always need to use a software. For instance, Google Docs is a free web-based application that allows the user to create and edit word processing and spreadsheet documents online. Software as a service allows you to rent a software for a minimal free. Mass participation. Diverse information sharing through universal web access. Since most users can use the internet, Web 2.0 is content is based on people from various cultures. Then proceed to what is Web 3.0. What is Web 3.0? Suggested name by John Mark of, of the New York Times for the third generation of the web. In this generation, all the application on web or mobile will be upgraded with more features. It applies the same principle as Web 2.0 the two-way interaction. Web 3.0 will be more connected, open, and intelligent with semantic web technologies, distributed databases, natural language processing, machine learning, machine reasoning, and autonomous agents. So let's have a summary about the difference between Web 1.0 Web 2.0 and Web 3.0 Under the Web 1.0, the web with only web, information sharing, connect information, all about static content, one-way publishing or one-way communication. Example of the Web 1.0 is the personal website. While Web 2.0 is the social web, read and write web, interaction, connect people, more about two-way communication through social networking, blogging, tagging, and wikis. Example of Web 2.0, blogs are Facebook. While Web 3.0, it is the semantic web, read, write, and execute web, immersion, connect knowledge, and curiously undefined. Example for Web 3.0 is the semantic blog. Let's talk about or discuss platforms. If you can program it, then it's a platform. If you can, then it's not. It's according by Mark Anderson. Online platforms in ICT, it makes it easier for users to interact, to collect, and use the data from the user's interactions for their own particular needs. Online platform categories are the following. Social media search engines, communication services, payment services, advertising platforms, creative content outlets. 
Let's proceed to web search engines. Web search engines, it is a software system that is designed to search for information on the World Wide Web or WWW. The search results are generally presented in a line of results, referred to as Search Engine Results Page or SERP. The information may be a mix of web pages, images, and other types of files. There are top search engines like Google, Bing, or Microsoft, Yahoo, Work, which is the number one email provider, Ask.com or Ask Gives, AOL.com or America Online, Baidu in China, Wolframa Alpha or Computational Knowledge Engine, DuckDuckGo, which is very simple, Internet Archive or Histories of a Domain, Chacha.com or similar to Ask.com. Now with are the communication services. Communication services, these are outsourced enterprise communication solutions that can be leased from a single vendor or provider. A communication service provider, or CSP, is a provider that transports information electronically and can encompass public and private companies in telecom, internet, cable, satellite, and managed services business. It is like telecom and internet cable. Payment system. Payment system, it is any system used to settle financial transactions through transfer of monetary value and includes the institutions, instruments, people, rules, procedures, standards, and technologies. Advertising platforms. In advertising platforms, it allows users to create and manage advertising campaigns, generate reports, and retrieve information about the ads, campaigns, and organizations that are associated with an account. Creative Content Outlets Creative Content Outlets, it is content that needs to be translated creatively. Well, the topic or concept, creative presentation is. How about online platforms? Some of the online platforms are, in terms of presentation tools, there are Prezi, Zoho Shows, MS, or Microsoft PowerPoint. In terms of newsletter and ICT content platforms, there are Dropbox, Tumblr, or Wix. In photo editing tools, there are Picasa, Adobe Photoshop, and GIMP. For video editing tools, examples are Sony Vegas Pro, Windows Movie Maker, and Adobe Premiere Pro. For photo uploading and hosting tools, there is Dropbox or Flickr. Online collaborative tools is like Google Drive, Viber, and Facebook. For cloud computing, example are Dropbox, Google Drive, or Microsoft OneDrive. For the blog tools, there are Blogger, WordPress, and LiveJournal. Mapping tools, example are Google Maps, Waze, and Wikimapia. For music production, examples are Sony Vegas Pro, Audacity, and Virtual DJ. For survey and forms, there is Google Forms. For ICT projects and content publishing and uploading platforms, examples are WordPress, MS Office, or Microsoft Office Project Server, or File Manager. For web design platforms, there are Wix, Weebly, and Adobe Dreamweaver. 
For web management platforms, examples are Drupal, WordPress, or Joomla. That's all for the discussion about the online systems, functions, and platforms. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.